Abortion battles in this state still rage. The president's cabinet secretary for health visited Wisconsin to criticize the state's ban. While some from this state head to D.C. to celebrate Roe's reversal. Jason Calvi is live with the debate over abortion's future as this weekend marks the 50th anniversary of Roe v. Wade. Yeah, and this really is a sign of the state of abortion here in Wisconsin. This used to be one of the state's four abortion clinics. Now it's closed down and it's for sale. Each year, Wisconsinites join the March for Life abortion protest in Washington, D.C. Everyone is incredibly joyful, celebrating a victory for life. This year was different, the first time after Roe's reversal. We've been able to meet firsthand some of these lives and these babies who are here today because Roe was overturned. So it was just a very exciting day for us. On the other side of the issue, the U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary joins a roundtable with Wisconsin's Attorney General and some health care workers. Dobbs won't stand. I just, I don't see how it stands. Dobbs, the Supreme Court's ruling in June striking down Roe v. Wade. It's when Wisconsin's abortion ban sprung back to life. It's a jarring experience to go from one place where there's not an issue of going to see your doctor or getting the care you need to going to another place where your first concern is, am I going to get in trouble? Wisconsin's abortion ban makes it a felony for the person doing the abortion, not the mother. As soon as somebody is there for a pregnancy test and their option is they want to abort, I, I panic because legalities, I'm like, do I, what do I say? I, I go in there with fear. The Wisconsin law does allow one exception to save the life of the mother. After Rose reversal, OBGYN Mercedes Williams tells Fox 6 she's seen patients as young as 19 ask for this. The thing that really shocked me or was astonishing was the request for permanent sterilization, which has increased. While the future of the state's abortion ban now plays out in Wisconsin courts. And Attorney General Josh Call is suing to stop this Wisconsin abortion ban. And what we're seeing is that is why this upcoming Wisconsin Supreme Court race is so important. Control of that of that court hangs in the balance. Right now it's controlled by conservatives, but this race could tip the scales for the progressives. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News.